Hi, I'm Kendra Johnson and I'm a third grade teacher at Capshaw Elementary. I'm here today doing a problem-based learning lesson with my children to get them to understand on their own the importance of seatbelt safety. Okay guys, eyes up here. I want to present you with a picture today. This picture is Charles. Say hi Charles. Hi Charles. This is Charles. Charles is seven years old. Now I want you to think about why Charles might be in this hospital bed with a bandage around his head and a bandage around his arm and get well, well soon down at the bottom of the paper. Cannon? He probably wasn't wearing a seatbelt and he was in an accident. Okay, well do we know that just by looking at this picture? No. No, what else could have happened? So for one, Cannon is saying possibly an accident. What else could have happened? Cassie? Okay, so he could have fallen on playground. We're going to abbreviate that right there. Jonathan? He might, he might have not had a um, booster seat. Maybe no booster seat. So you're telling me he might have had an accident and was not, wear, was not in a booster seat. MRA? Um, maybe um, he, he went outside and there, was, and there was like a bunch of people who were... Who, um, who are like gangsters and then they sort of tried to kill him? So maybe he got into a fight is what you're telling me. Maybe he got into a neighborhood fight. And Ellie? Maybe he um, dived off the high diving board. Maybe I like that. Maybe he fell off the pool was not deep enough. Oh, maybe he had a diving accident. Very good, Ellie. These are some great responses. But how can we figure out what really happened? What do we need? What are we going to need to determine what really happened? Thomas? Information. Information. So you think maybe some more information might help us? Well, I'm going to show you a few more pictures, and let's look at these pictures and see if they help us determine what might have really happened to Charles. In this first photo, what's happening, Carlin? He's probably not in a booster seat. Dad's smiling. Okay, Ella? Um, he might just be putting on his seatbelt. He might just now be putting on his seatbelt. Anything else as to what this could have, how this could have caused the accident, Davis? He might be getting unbuckled. He might be getting unbuckled. Oh, look at this picture. Matthew, what do we see now? Um, he's, um, got, um, he's sitting in the front seat. He's sitting in the front seat. Well, why? What's wrong with that, Mary Catherine? He doesn't have a seatbelt on. So you think that because he's sitting in the front seat without a seatbelt on, maybe he got in the hospital? Kanan? He had an accident and he was in the front seat with no seatbelt on, so it kind of blew him out the window. Okay, so let's look at this picture. Do we have more information now that might help us? Madison? He got unbuckled from the back and climbed over. He got unbuckled from the back and climbed over. Okay, anybody else? Cassidy? I think he, he was just not paying attention. He was just playing around the car. Playing around the car. And anybody else I've not spoken to? Emory, what do you think? Well, maybe he's just trying to aggravate his dad, and maybe uh, his dad might just run into something. Ah, so why is he in the hospital? Based on these pictures, why is he in the hospital? Cassidy, do we know yet exactly why he's in the hospital? Uh, because he was actually playing around the car and not wearing his seat. Cassie, what do you think? Do we have enough information to figure this out? No. no. Ella? Well, probably what happened was his dad was concentrating on him, mm -hmm. doing what he was doing, and then what happened was he didn't see maybe a light, and he went past it, and he got in the car. So you're telling me two things. You're telling me maybe his dad ran a red light, or maybe he was distracted? 
So maybe dad was distracted. So, so far we've pre predicted that there's been an accident. Maybe, can we eliminate falling on the playground? Yeah. Probably from what we've seen. Can we eliminate the no booster yet? No. Do we have enough information to really make that decision yet? No. A fight, can we eliminate the fight? Yeah. Okay, so we can eliminate that. We can eliminate fight. What about a diving accident? Mary Catherine, can we eliminate a diving accident? We can eliminate that. So, so far, are we starting to figure out why he might be in the hospital? Okay, but do we really know exactly what caused him to be in the hospital yet? No. What do we need, Cannon? More information. More information. Well, you are in luck because I have a little bit more information for you. Okay, guys, looking at this picture now, what does this picture tell you? Eli, what does this picture tell you? That he's not in a booster seat. So now we can go back to our no booster and we can maybe conclude that that might be part of the cause. What do you notice about this picture, Thomas? His seatbelt is not right here, it's right here. You're telling me his seatbelt is not in the right position. Okay, where should it be? Right here. So it should be coming down below your neck on your actual shoulder? What else do we notice about this picture, Rendell? So you're telling me the bottom belt should not be along his stomach. Where should the bottom belt be then, Mary Catherine? Around his hips. Around his hips? Why? Because it'll hold him in. It'll hold him in? But I thought he was wearing his seatbelt. How does this help put him in the hospital? He's wearing his seatbelt, Carlin. So you're telling me that the seatbelt is not positioned in the right place. Why is it not positioned in the right place? Cassie? Because he's not tall enough. He's not tall enough, okay. And so he's buckled though. What should he be doing? What should he be doing? Cannon? Being buckled while riding in a booster So he should be in a booster seat and he should be buckled while he's riding in the booster seat. But do we know how the actual accident happened. You're telling me that there was an accident. You're already telling me that you've discovered because he wasn't wearing a booster that he has an accident. But how are we going to find out exactly what put him in the hospital? Jonathan? More information? What is happening now? Jace? He's screaming? Why? Maybe because they're about to get in a wreck. Okay, let's look at this next picture. What is happening here? Mary Catherine? They went to, they um, ran into a road working area. Oh, well, what is happening here? Oh, well, what lets you know that there's a road working area going on? There's road work going on here. Go ahead, Mary Catherine. The barrel. The barrel. So she sees a barrel and she's saying that maybe they hit the barrel. And so do you think that might be what was causing him to scream? Yeah. Why would he scream? What was he feeling? What might have made him scream? Kanan? He didn't think that uh, um, you're supposed to go into road work area. He didn't think that because there are a lot of people and there's usually not, there's usually an unfinished road. Okay, so look at this. We've been studying cause and effect. Who can remind me what cause is? What's cause? Um, like if you dropped an egg. If you dropped an egg, then what would the effect be? It broke. It would break. So can you think from this scenario, have you drawn any conclusions about a possible cause and effect relationship going on within this one picture here? Within this one picture, Ellie? Um, they knocked over the barrel. They knocked over the barrel. And so what happened? Maybe the car tipped over was the effect. So maybe the car tipping over was the effect. Now, so we see kind of what's going on, but we need to know still, Cassidy, why Charles is in the hospital. How are we going to find that out? Carlin? Um, 